course, there's some updates because now that it's daytime, the news is there. People are reporting. They're getting information from people who saw it. Like, I don't even understand. I mean, maybe cameras were going ahead because there's just cameras everywhere. We know that. But now there's like eyewitness accounts and things of that nature. So there's a woman who works around here somewhere and she has the story from Twitter. So let me go ahead and let her speak. And then there's a man that's out there. Listen, it's changing second by minute by second by minute. There's approximately seven people who are missing right now in Prayers to everybody who's affected by this, all the workers that were on the uh, bridge, the people who were on the boat. Allegedly, they lost power, and that's what happened, and they notified whoever the hell you notify in the water, maritime, something or another child. My entire cart, it's like a about a three-foot cart, and it's made of metal. The whole thing shook, so I thought I had hit something. I thought I hit maybe a pallet jack piece or some debris on the ground. And then I asked a few other coworkers, like, did y'all just feel that? And everybody was like, yeah, man, that was hard. That was like hard rumbling thunder. We don't know what it was. So two o'clock rolls around, we go out on break. Mind you, it's very dark outside, but we have a perfect view of the bridge in the videos and photos I sent you, or the video and photos I sent you. You can see, like, you can see the bridge even though it's dark out. My coworker goes, Jay, look, the bridge collapsed. And I was like, you're lying. Stop playing with me. He goes, no, go look. I still am kind of in shock. Like, it's <laughs> it's just unfortunate that it happened, too, because everybody was telling us that a cargo ship hit the, hit the support beams, and we couldn't even see a ship. Like, we didn't see anything in the water. All we seen was the debris of the bridge and support beams. So we had no idea that. Enforcement memos, including one from CISA, the uh, Cybersecurity and Infrastructure Security Agency, issued to law enforcement and obtained by CBS News. That bulletin saying that the U.S. Coast Guard had reported that the Dolly, the cargo ship, lost propulsion as it was leaving Baltimore Harbor, and that vessel notified the Maryland Department of Transportation that they had lost control of the vessel and an elision or a collision with the bridge was possible and so we're just learning this new information from law enforcement from the Department of Homeland Security that the U.S. Coast Guard uh, had become aware of reports from the Dolly indicating that they had lost propulsion of that motor ship uh, and that they knew that a potential collision was possible and that they had notified the Maryland Department of Transportation as much. Yeah. Jack Pesobic here in Baltimore Harbor. You can see just behind me the ship, the Da Li, Singapore flagged, Marif chartered, and the remains of the Francis Scott Key Bridge here in Baltimore Harbor. Helicopters are up, search and rescue, Coast Guard looking for any potential survivors. You can hear the helicopters circling the area. The ship, of course, is stationary. It is stopped directly where the bridge uh, where it struck the bridge, where the bridge once stood. This road, 695, of course, completely cut off now from the Baltimore area. And as you can see behind me, the port is completely silent. No ships are moving. Gantries are quiet. It's a quiet day that started out with a catastrophic early morning where overnight bridge collapsed due to this catastrophic incident which took place around 1 30 in the morning you can see one of the helicopters here 
coming in closer. And they're flying very low now. Going to zoom in for a closer shot. So my dad called me, y'all, to let me know that he's okay and everybody in the area is okay as far as uh, people we know and family and stuff like that. So prayers to every and anybody having to deal with this. He also told me as a military person that if you at 1.30 a.m. in the morning fell into this water, which he thinks is about 30 degrees or less, and you haven't been found yet, the odds are it's a search and rescue, I'm sorry, a search and recover, because they're saying right now it's a search and rescue at the last press conference, and he says that's because they don't want to alarm family members. So they found two people and pulled them out, and they don't know who those two people are, whether it's the people that were working on the bridge or people that were maybe crossing over the bridge, even though from the looks of what I was seeing, it looked like there was no one crossing over the bridge up until the time. I mean, I saw them go by and then the thing crashed. So hopefully I was thinking no one was there. He said, there's no way that you could see the whole bridge from your camera angle. So not my camera angle, but the view that I was looking at. So, and of course, I guess it kind of does make sense what he's saying. He said, BWI is running fine. So, because my next thought was they said no planes could go over. So what if they need to go to this direction? I guess they got to go around. I'm sure there must be some delays. Anyway, y'all, uh, of course, I keep looking because people are starting to talk a lot more on Twitter. So I'll go ahead and make sure if I can find anything that's significant there and bring it to you. Y'all, this is just. I got no other words. This is this is crazy. I know y'all do have a lot to say. Please make sure you go ahead and leave a comment like the video. Subscribe if you are new. I see you all in the next one.